Telio there, champs, and MSI had this launch event for their new laptops, and I've got to tell you now, they've got some sick laptops here. I'm going to be talking about the Creator laptops, and will these Creator laptops announce be XPS 15 and 17 and M1 MacBook Pro 16 killers? Wow. Let's find out. But they did also do updates to the GE76 and a whole slew of gaming laptops. I actually have a video, Alienware 17 versus GE76, and I'm going to have to do it all over again because the new model fixed all the gripes I had with the GE76. So stay tuned for that video. But anyway, let's talk about their creator laptops. Here they are. Creator 17, Creator Z16, and Creator M16. And they actually had some guy on there, I think his name's Linus, doing propaganda videos about laptops. Why didn't they have Jared? What would Linus know about a laptop? Seriously. So the 17 and the 16 are the more premium ones. The Creator M16 is a more budget-friendly one. And they got some killer specs. So yeah, if you're looking at MacBook Pro 16 or XPS, you might want to look at these. And I actually want to know, which one are you more interested in, a Z16 or 17? So I'll get into specs in a sec, but first things first, of course, they're going to have Intel CPUs, the new Intel CPUs, which gives you PCI Express 4, gives you Thunderbolt 4, and also RTX graphics, 30 series graphics. So yeah, it's the latest, it's the best you can get, right? Wi-Fi 6E. Not many people are doing 6E at the moment. So Wi-Fi 6E actually gives you a 6 gigahertz band, so no one's using that band. So it's a frequency, or for you, of course, you do have to have the router or router, Wi-Fi router, to take advantage of this, but better to have it they're not displays now they talked about the displays a lot Kalman certified so these will be color accurate you can have QHD and 4k depending on which laptop P3 Delta E's of less than two so you're going to have a good display what we also get is 16 by 10 displays on the Z and M16 that's what we want right you can see there the extra height you get with 16 by 10 much better they say it's got some good sound we'll have to find out if that's any good now this is the Z16 it's a premium laptop mini LED keyboard <laughs> It's not the display. The other one does have mini LED. I'll talk about that in a sec, but you know, 2.2 kilos, CNC machined. It looks nice, nice gray color there. There's the keyboard software by SteelSeries, fingerprint reader on the right. It is a touch display as well, so that's pretty awesome. And you can lay it flat. Wow. And it's called Flip and Share. You press F12, I guess, and it disables the keyboard, I guess. I don't know what's going on there. Of course, Thunderbolt 4, which means 120 hertz, 4K, 10-bit HDR. So, yeah, you can do all that. Now, this is one of my concerns. This is just a gaming laptop in disguise. We'll have to find out there. But that just looks amazing. Let's have a look at the specs of it. So, this is the Z16. You can get an i7 processor. So, you can get 8-core i7, 11th gen. Now, one thing here, no i9, RTX 3060, awesome six gigabytes of ram perfect for a creator now you have here the qhd display all right so 2560 by 1600 120 hertz display color accurate dci p3 it didn't say the nits so i don't know how many nits this is but the 17 inch has mini ld up to a thousand nits can i ask do you want 120 hertz if that's going to affect the battery life i gotta say for me for a creator i mean it doesn't hurt to have the hertz pardon the pun there and i guess if you want a game on the side I did interesting but there's no point having 120 hertz unless it's got a good response time as well because usually high quality displays are slow like the pixel response is slow up to 64 gigs two slots for your ram there ddr 3200 two mvme slots of course gen 4 so wow the storage speed is going to be amazing wi-fi 6 two thunderbolt 4s some usb type a's micro sd card not full size and that's fine and it does have a 90 watt hour battery i can tell you that now now, if we're going to compare this to the XPS 17 and 15, it's going to be more powerful than the XPS 15, obviously. It has an RTX 3060. Now, you can get an RTX 3060 in an XPS 17, but it's only 130 watts total package. This one here is 180 watts, so that tells you everything you need to know. There's going to be more power for the CPU and GPU, and it does come in at 2.2 kilos. I think that's 4.8 pounds or something like that. Then you have the M16, which is basically your more budget-friendly it is still 16 by 10, so that is amazing. 3050 Ti, 3060s. You do get Wi-Fi 6, but no Thunderbolt here. It doesn't look like. 
and also it's not HDMI 2.1 it is the budget one right so now let's have a look at this 17 inch model and this 17 inch creator model is absolutely bonkers okay mini LED 1000 nits peak brightness there HDR 1000 certified 240 local dimming zones you know what that is it just means it can have more contrast it should have less blooming it's more OLED like it's not like OLED but it's as close as you're going to get with LED 1000 nits there that's going to pop your eyeballs out doesn't look as good as the 16 if I'm going to be honest here but with that display and the extra performance you get are you going to care and it does say 2.2 kilos is that for real 23.95 millimeters yeah it does look a bit thick that is quite thick so there's an overview of everything 4k mini led are the key features here pci express 4 wi-fi 6e thunderbolt let's have a look at the specs so this is the creator 17 here and have a look at this wow that's it right there rtx 3080 right so the extra bit of thickness who cares mate you want the power you got it right a creator laptop with an rtx 3080 the display wow just wow you have two m.2s one gen 3 one gen 4 2.5 gig network in there thunderbolt 4 only one though you have a USB Type-C, Type-A, full-size SD card reader, HDMI 2.1. It has to be 2.1 because 4K, 120Hz. So that is awesome. Of course, you've got the Ethernet there. 99 watt-hour battery. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want. And 230 watts, 2.45 kilos. It is a little bit heavier for the amount of power it's got. I think that's very acceptable. But I want to go back here to 230 watts. That makes me think that here, the RTX 3080, probably going to be around a 90 water, something like that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. you got the CUDA cores and all that stuff that, you know, you need for creative products or creative software that use that sort of thing. In terms of power, yeah, just amazing. And I don't care what happens with the next MacBook Pro M2 or whatever. It's not going to beat an RTX 3080. I doubt it actually beat a 3060. So anyway, they're the creator laptops. Stay tuned for my video comparing the only we're 17 to the GE76. Oh, I'm going to have to quickly change that video now. But anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.